Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I put up any sort of video. The holidays kind of kept me really busy, so I apologize, but I am back. And I really look forward to bringing you guys a lot more videos this year, um, hopefully different varieties, so not just like reviews, tutorials, maybe some DIYs and things like that. So we'll see. Um, hope you had a really good holiday. Today I'm going to do like a miniature out of the box for the um, Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This has been out from the market in a while, uh, for a while, and I got this in the mail as just like a sample. Um, if you go to like allyou.com, sometimes they have a lot of samples, and this is what I got from it. And the reason why I waited for so long to do it is because um, I currently use this BB cream. It's the Dr. Jart that I got from Sephora. It's this one. I'm almost out, so I've been kind of babying this one, not having, any, not wanting to use it as much. And since drugstore have been just kind of going crazy with the BB creams, now they have CC cream from Olay, which I've yet to try. Um, I just thought maybe I should give um, drugstore a shot before I maybe decide to either get another one of these or go back to like the Skin 79 or one of the other brands I would get off um, the internet. So, without further ado, this is. Um, the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream, it says it's 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector and um, it's supposed to blur imperfections, enhance your skin, brightens, evens out your skin tone, it smooths, hydrates, there's no heavy ingredients and there's no oil in this. And there are five different skin tones that are available, you can see all in this paper here. Um, I don't know what they sent me, it's a sheer tint, it says light to medium. And I hope this is enough for my whole face, but we'll see. I don't have any makeup on right now. Um, not primer. I put a little bit of moisturizer on, but, you know, nothing crazy with colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Okay, so I just go ahead and get some of the ingredients out. So this is the color. I don't know if it'll match my skin tone well enough. We'll see. So we'll start with, I usually like starting with like the under eye area, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'm just going to look into the mirror when I do it. And I'm applying this with my clean hands. Um, BB cream, I usually use my hands. I don't use like a brush or anything like that. Maybe sometimes my stippling brush. But I don't really do that too often. Okay, well, it seems to match my skin tone pretty okay. So I think I can already kind of tell the difference um, from before already that it is evening out my skin tone. The chin's going to be the real test because I have a lot of breakouts there. Seems to cover it up okay. This would, I think, if I was purchasing this, the light to medium is probably what I purchased for myself anyway. Okay, and then for the forehead. Ugh, it's so out of my hair. There we go. And the reason why I like BB cream a lot is because it's usually pretty light. And, you know, I like my skin to, you know, not look like I have foundation caked all over it. So I kind of like a lighter, like just put it on and you can walk out the door, which what, which is why I use it. And I haven't really tried any of like the U.S. drugstore brands because I've heard that they're kind of just like glorified tinted moisturizer. So, you know, that's what it is. Okay, so that's just basically a very thin over application. I can kind of see that. Besides my under eye, especially this one a little bit, uh, besides the dark circles there, it actually evens out my skin pretty well. 
So I'm just going to put a tiny bit more under my eyes. And it does make my skin feel smoother. It really actually does. Um, I unfortunately don't have the ingredient on this little pamphlet slash sample. So I can't tell you what's in it. But I'm sure it's available online if um, you want to go ahead and look that up if you're interested. I'm going to put a little bit more on my chin. Yeah, this is actually not that bad. I kind of like it. So I'll go ahead and, you know, now that you kind of see what this looks like. Um, and I, this, you know, kind of matt mattifies my skin a little bit. So I wouldn't, I don't really feel like I would have to powder. I'm going to go ahead and swatch on the back of my hand um, the Maybelline. So I've got some left. And then I'm also going to... Um, Swatch my Dr. Jart just a little bit. You can tell the difference in color. This is Dr. Jart. Sorry, that was Maybelline. The one, the one that's grayer. This is Dr. Jart, and this is the Maybelline. And I'll go ahead and I think consistency-wise, the Dr. Jart one is a little bit more dense. You can see that. And the Maybelline BB cream is slightly, and I mean slightly, more um, watery, but not by too much. So side by side comparison for that, it's actually not too much of a difference. Um, color wise, I think I would prefer the Dr. Jart, just because you can see it matches my hand already kind of better than the uh, Maybelline. But on my face, you re I don't feel like you can really tell. I feel like it does match pretty well. So, we'll see. I'll leave, I'll leave this on a little bit longer, and um, I'm going to go ahead and film another video anyway, and then I'll see how it fares through the day. Right now, it is 12.36 p.m., and, um, 12.36 p.m., so I'll go ahead and, um, come back in a couple hours, probably around, um, 3, maybe 4 o'clock, um, while I still have some light out. Because I don't like to film at night and I'll let you know how this stays on for the rest of the day. I'll go ahead and not powder my face. So it'll, um, we'll see how it goes. I'll go ahead and also apply some makeup, um, just eyes and then for blush just to see how this, how well this stays on my skin. I'll go ahead and apply the Dream, um, like a cream blush, which is uh, my Maybelline Dream Bouncy. Okay guys, um, so I will check back with you in just a little bit. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back, um. I am back way, way later than I expected. It is now nighttime. It's about 8 o'clock. Um, so I've had this makeup on for about, um, I think it was 12.30 when the last time I checked in. So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So about like six and a half, seven hours um, that I've had this on since, you know, um, the last time I filmed. So I feel like it stayed on pretty well. Don't mind this giant bug bite that I got on my face. But after... Um, I paused the video last time. I did apply just slight makeup to my eyes, mascara, um, pow not powder blush, and um, cream blush and lip gloss. And as you can see, the cream blush is really, really subtle. And I didn't powder my face. And my face is still pretty matte, matte and I usually get pretty oily up here on my forehead um, in the T zone area. So it's actually held up pretty good I would say for um, a drugstore BB cream I definitely um, will give it another chance in the future once I test out some of the other ones um, but so far the Maybelline BB cream is good in my book so that's something I will consider when I run out of the uh, BB cream I'm currently using I will probably go ahead and test um, some other BB creams I really want to test the Olay CC cream and see what that's all about so um, Hopefully I can get that out sometimes maybe in the next couple months or so hopefully um, Also really want to try the Urban Decay Naked BB Cream that just came out about two days ago um, So we will see but thanks so much for watching if you want me to review anything else Please comment below and I will do my best to see if I can go ahead and review that product for you um, I will also go ahead and link um, additional information on the BB Cream if you really want to look into it like price and whatnot 
And that's it. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.